Hi guys, checking in. Um, I'm off today, my summer Friday. So I am going to go to the store as usual. Aren't we all just going to the store when we're vlogging in the car? Either that or going to work, but that was a giant airplane above my head and it's about to land because that's where I live. I practically live in the airport. So yeah, that's something we struggle with in the summertime when we want to open our windows because we cannot hear ourselves think every 90 seconds. Yep, every 90 seconds. All right. You know what? I took a shower and I just let it dry and then I went out running around and the humidity got to it and this is what happens. This is, ugh. But I guess that's what, ah, I have hair in my mouth. I guess that's what we gotta deal with. Now I'm gonna eat the hair. Hands on the wheel. Um, all right, so I had a major, major disappointment this morning. And for the Dooney Nistas out there, the Dooney lovers, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt you too. Um, you know that beautiful, perfect white logo lock hobo that I got from QVC around the beginning of April? Well, uh oh, police officer, he's behind me. Um, you know how it was perfect and too good to be true? Well, it was too good to be true. Um, I got it at, I bought it end of March and I got it at the beginning of April and I haven't worn it until this past Wednesday because the weather hasn't been nice enough. Um, and I was just waiting for it to warm up and, you know, be nice and more summery to bring that bag out. Well, finally brought it out, loved it, loved it. And then today... Two days later, I was out shopping this morning and I noticed a little spot on the top edge of it um, where the leather curls under and goes inside the bag. And I thought, okay, what is this? So I rubbed on a little bit. And sometimes, you know, from the bags I've gotten at the outlet, or just because I get a lot of bags at the outlet, I noticed there's that little rubber glue, that little stuff you can just like rub off or pull off. And um, so I was trying to do that. I was kind of gently, you know, rubbing on it and it was starting to look like it was coming off. So I kind of pulled on it and it ended up being the very top layer of the leather, the part that's dyed. And the dye does not go all the way through on these bags. Underneath that thin, very top layer is a, um, is untreated, like, suede almost feeling like and I I was looking at it looking at it and I couldn't see very well I came home I put it under a magnifying glass and sure enough there it's just peeled away and I was so like I was just starting to say oh my god I love this bag I don't want to move out of it and that kind of stuff but it is stressful carrying around a stark white bag. I would tell you that. Everything I'm worrying, worrying, worrying. So that's why I think there had to be maybe a little... It had to be there, but I didn't see it. Until, you know, with a little wear, some dirt maybe got on it. And that's when I noticed something was there. Um, so I called QVC and... They were very nice. It's past the 30 day return period. They told me that since it's defective, I can go ahead and return it and not even have to pay the shipping costs back. So um, it's in the box in the back seat. And I'm on my way to the post office. So yeah, it's a sad day in Dooney, Dooley, Dooney land. Um, so I drove all the way to the post office, which isn't that far. It's maybe, 
you know, not even 10 minutes, it's like seven minutes or something like that. And I get all the way there, I'm walking into, into the post office with the box and I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't put the return slip in the box. I put everything in it, I packaged the bag up in the, the original packaging it came in because I saved that stuff for a while. And um, I'm walking in and I say, oh my gosh, I didn't put the, the return slip in there. So uh, I had to drive all the way back home, cut the box of the, the, the tape, because I'm almost out of packing tape, stick the return slip in there and then tape it back up. And yeah, but I'm very grateful that I remember because I was about to turn that box in and, uh, you know, into the post office and Oh my God, I would have freaked out if I hadn't put the return slip in there. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it does matter because they wouldn't have seen that it was marked as defective. So, um, anyway, I am just stopping at Aldi really quick because I gotta get some, some food. We have an out of town guest. We're having my husband's um, mother and sister and, and her son. Our nephew and yeah so uh, I'm gonna be cleaning until they get here and stuff like that but um let me just run in and shop and I'll check back in with you guys bye all right guys I'm back that was fun I'm telling you you cannot beat those deals at Aldi seriously I got so many groceries for just over a hundred dollars can't do that at Costco or Sam's Club. Then again, you can't get everything at Aldi either. So, um, but they really do have a nice selection of. What the heck is this? A nice selection of organics and gluten-free. Um, I bought some 85% lean. Shoot, I should have gone grass-fed beef and. $6.99 a pound. If you buy that at Whole Foods, which is where I was buying it at the butcher, it's $9.99 a pound. So $3 savings there. You can't beat that. And I already tried this stuff on the grill. Delicious. It makes really good burgers. So, um, and then they have a nice little dedicated organic fruit and vegetable section too with some really nice looking organics. So that's what I'm able to get there you know for me for a change other than just getting stuff for the other people in the house I'm gonna go this is risky but gotta do it when you can because there's no turning out of this place um so I have a confession and this is more a confession to myself and how I let myself down on my healthy eating because, I mean, I wasn't that bad, but I gave in to dairy and I gave in to fat dairy, fat, fat dairy. Oh, we went to Cold Stone. Yep. And to top it off, do you know what kind of ice cream I had? coffee. Yeah, the other stuff I gave up five months ago. Oh my god, it was heaven. Oh, it was heaven on earth. I'm telling you, I had a small cup, okay, and it was maybe more than enough, because let me tell you, when you're not used to eating that stuff, it's rich and it's sweet. Oh, yum, yum. I didn't feel the best later, though, so you can Oh, your body knows when you put something different into it. Um, and also, before that, we went to Chipotle. I had a salad with chicken on it. And I like Chipotle because they, they are non-GMO now on everything. And that, I really, really want to support a fast food chain that's going to, you know, do something like that. Because that's just awesome. You've got, you know, McDonald's and all that and using the really bad ingredients and um, I'm totally gonna go for Chipotle when I can so I had a big old glob of guacamole on that thing too man they piled that stuff on that had to be 500 plus calories on it 
But let me tell you, yummy but salty. I'm also not used to all the salt, so. Oh, but my son and I, we were celebrating because um, he just got his first real job. He'll be 18 in July, and you know, he was never able to get a job because he plays hockey all the time and then his dad didn't want him to get a job because he wanted him to help him with all of his stuff whenever he needed help in the summer, you know, like construction and all that. Um, so this is his first real official job and he is going to be lifeguarding at the Park District pool. And he's very excited. He starts his training today and he's got five big days of training and... Yeah, so that is very exciting. We are both excited because now I won't have to shell out money here and there whenever he wants to go out with his friends. He's finally going to have some money. Um, but teaching him to save that money, he's not the best at holding on to it when he has it. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So, yeah, that's what's been going on, and I'm at the post office. I have to go in and, and leave that logo lock hobo behind before all this food melts in my trunk. So I will check in with you guys later. You have a fabulous Friday and weekend if I don't talk to you again. And oh, I'm dying in this car. I turned the windows up. It's like, I don't know, 80 today and muggy. Finally, thank goodness for the 80 and muggy. I'm thanking him for it because you know what? I am tired of the 50s and 40s. I'm not kidding. And at night too, so bring on the heat. Anyway, guys, I was saying bye already. So I'm going to say bye this time. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. I had to come back and tell you because we must have the suavest post office attendant in town. I am telling you. I came in there and I, big old line and I get at the end and then he comes out from behind the counter because there's two other attendants there. And I said, can I just leave this if I have a label on it already, a prepaid label? And he comes up to me and like takes it from me like just dropping off sweetheart it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh it's so funny okay so yeah this is boring i don't know what to say i just had to tell you that little tidbit because that was so funny. It was like Marvin Gaye or something just was like singing to me all of a sudden. <laughs> um, so what I switched into from my white logo lock, Hobo. Bye, Hobo. Is this one. But this is my new favorite color. Oh my God, I love this color. It's the lavender pebbled leather, and I'm loving everything in purple now. Funny, because I was never really a purple girl, but I think you purple girls have rubbed off on me. Leanne, Lori, yeah, because I, this color, this and the violet color in the Florentine sings to me when I look at it. Oh, I'm hungry, so I bought the whole store, and I can't eat probably 96% of it, but I did get some good gluten-free pasta. They had gluten-free pasta, yeah, and they have all these gluten-free baking mixes, which, you know, the gluten-free pre-packaged and baking mixes and stuff they're not all that healthy they really just say if you're going to eat gluten free you should eat naturally things that are gluten free like fruits and vegetables and you know things like that and, but you know 
Lately I've been dipping my toes back into some little sweets here and there and now I'm starting to get the sweet tooth again and that's what happens. It's because, you know, when you're a food addict, that's what happens. So I know I have to stay away from this stuff for my own well-being and then I don't have that inner struggle with always wanting it and craving it. The key is not having that inner struggle because then you can go about your life happily and not have to constantly be obsessing about food and diet and what you can eat and what you can't eat. And that is how I was able to, you know, do what I've done in the last five months and lose about 27 pounds. So, yeah, so, I need to cut that stuff out. I need to cut out that snacking. I know I do. So, not snacking, but you know what I mean. Eating things that are high in salt, have sugar, processed sugar in it, and, you know, stuff like that. I need to go back to all the time just eating whole foods, no processed sugar. You know, all my sugar comes from fruit. And if I want to sweeten something, I use 100% natural stevia from Trader Joe's in the little container. It's $9.99 for the little container, but you use a teeny tiny little scooper that comes with it. And it's plenty sweet. So, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to hear me. Because the windows are open, but it's such a nice day. I hate air conditioning. I just hate air conditioning. I feel like I shrivel up into a, a frozen little, I don't know, I can't stand it because it's always freezing in the part of the house where I hang out and then it's hot upstairs. So my husband has to turn it down and then I freeze to death. So I'm wearing a sweatshirt and sweatpants or, you know, my yoga pants all summer long and I'm paying for it, which just bothers me. So, um... I'd love to just step outside into the humidity. My hair doesn't like it, but my skin loves it. So, um, anyway, it's uh, overcast and it looks like it's gonna rain and I'm wearing sunglasses, so. Look at that gun. It's there, but it's tending to droop downward like they do in cartoons, you know, where it's down here. <laughs> okay, I am just rambling about nothing, so I will check back in with you guys maybe later. If not, thank you so much for watching and um, letting me take the time to do this life update. Bye guys! He brought that thing home from the school auto shop where he had it working on it. And now I don't know where I'm going to put it because we have absolutely zero room in the garage. I think he's a little big for it. I think so. <sighs> Stress. I'm feeling it, people. I'm feeling it. Seriously, on the grass, dude? Right.